Okay, it's, it's time for some political truths. We can disagree on policy. We can disagree on what the tax code should be. We can disagree on how much aid we should give to foreign countries. We should disagree. We can disagree on, on, on what uh, decisions should be made at the federal level and what decisions should be made at the state level. We can even disagree on what type of gun legislation should be on the books. But what we can't disagree on is what is and is not reality. Now, it's important to understand that every politician lies on some level, from the President of the United States all the way down to a member of your local village board. On some level, they lie. On some level, they will tell you an untruth in order to push an agenda, in order to get through the moment that they're in without having to take too many more questions, in order to, in order to try and ease over a, a bad situation. They all lie on some level. Kamala Harris has lied. Joe Biden has lied. Donald Trump has lied. George Bush has lied. Clinton has lied. Obama has lied. Reagan has lied. They all lie. For example, when Kamala Harris said, I'm going to get grocery prices under control on day one. Why? You can't. You don't have the power to do that. You can try to get Congress to pass an anti-price gouging bill that might help get prices under control, but that's a, that's a campaign line. But when, when a politician says something that is so demonstrably false, so insanely off the wall with its conspiratorial roots, we have to call that out for what it is. And then we have to ask the people who support that person why they stay silent in the face of such insane lies. Case in point. Good evening. Trump says insane things all the time, but they don't often make me stop what I'm doing to play it for you. This is Trump speaking to the Moms for Liberty group. Uh, the transgender thing is incredible. Think of it. Your kid goes to school and comes home a few days later with an operation. The school decides what's going to happen with your child. And, you know, many of these childs, 15 years later, say, what the hell happened? Who did this to me? They say, who did this to me? That is insanely false. It's demonstrably false. There isn't a school in this country that's keeping your kids for a couple of days and performing a surgery, an operation on them against your will. This isn't, I'm going to build a wall and get Mexico to pay for it. This isn't, if you, if you like your doctors, you can, keep, you can keep your doctors. This isn't, read my lips, no new taxes. This isn't, if you like your doctors, you can keep your doctors. This is next level conspiratorial uh, uh, propaganda that's being pushed by the Republican president, uh, a presidential candidate uh, for this, this year's election, Donald Trump. So the question becomes, when you hear that, what is your reaction? Now, independents, liberals, far left people are hearing that and they're calling it out for what it is. My question is, where are the Republicans? Where are the Republican elected officials? Where are the Republican members of the House of Representatives? Where are the Republican members of the Senate? Where are the Republican governors? Where are the Republican state-level elected officials? Where are the Republicans to say, wait a minute, listen, I may agree with this guy and I'm going to vote for this guy uh, 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 because I agree with him on a number of issues, but that is crazy. And it's not happening and it needs to be called out for the lie that it is. Where are those Republicans? Where are those Trump supporters saying, hey, well, wait a minute, I I'm going to vote for this guy. I'm covered from head to toe in Trump merch. I've got 12 Trump flags and I love everything this guy stands for. But even I know that that's not happening. Where are they? How can you hear that? That the schools are making uh, medical decisions for your kids. The schools are keeping your kids for a couple of days. The schools are performing operations on your kids without your knowledge. Where are, are, are the Trump supporters to say, well, that's, that's just, that's just, that's something that needs to be called out. I cannot agree with that. And if you hear that as a Trump supporter, 
you still want to vote for him. You still agree with him on a, on a great number of things. You, you still think he's the best president ever and yada, 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 all of that. But when you hear that and you know that that's false, you know it in your heart, you know it in your brain. That is an inaccurate statement. That is fear-mongering the likes of which we have never seen in this country. It, it, when you hear that and you, and you register that that's false, and you choose not to call that out, you choose to say, hey, we're just going to gloss over that, tamp that down and forget like that ever happened and, and move on with our, with our support of this man. That is what makes folks like me say that folks like you are in a cult. That's cult-like behavior. You know that's inaccurate. You know it's inaccurate. You know that there is no truth to anything he just said. And if you're a Trump supporter who says the opposite, who says, no, what he said is, is true, then I defy you to come up with a single school in this country that's doing that. I defy you to tell me which school is doing that. We have to call this stuff out, folks. We're getting ready in just a couple of months to vote for the president of the United States of America. And we cannot have a president who says things that demonstrably false, that provably false, at the helm of our nation. That is a whole nother, another level uh, of presidential campaign lies and propaganda. That is something I have never seen in my lifetime, and I was born on the tail end uh, of the Nixon administration. I lived through Reagan uh, Republicans, and I lived through Tea Party Republicans with the likes of Sarah Palin. We have never seen anything like this before. That is a man that shouldn't receive one vote for president. 